Let's get things started with a couple of off the tops. And one thing, a, a real unfortunate thing we got to start, start with off the top. Um, as you guys know, we've been talking a lot about Moon Knight recently. And of course, you know, we, we Rob did a big breakdown of giving you a crash course on Moon Knight and everything you need to know. Then the trailer dropped the other day and we talked about that yesterday, of course. Well, today we found out. Now, I, I'm not going to pretend that I'm familiar with the actor myself. Uh, so I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce his name. Forgive me if I do. But a French actor who is one of the stars of Moon Knight, the upcoming Moon Knight, he plays Midnight Man in the upcoming Moon Knight, uh, Gaspard Uil, Ulil, I, I, and I may be mispronouncing his last name, uh, one of the stars of Moon Knight, has passed away after a head injury uh, during a ski accident. <clears throat> and you always, 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 uh, I mean, anybody passing away is, is a tragedy. Passing away at 37. Mm. Passing away right on the cusp of, of maybe his biggest role yet as far as notoriety and people are going to be taking notice and all that kind of stuff. Um, and right on the eve of the trailer coming out too. And and this is a real unfortunate thing. Rob, you heard about this. First of all, give us a, can you give us a little bit about, you know, for people who may not know anything about it, who Midnight Man is, who he was going to be playing and, and, and your thoughts about this and how this kind of affects the whole <laughs> atmosphere of, of the show now at well, the moment. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting that midnight man is a, uh, a moon Knight villain that goes all the way back to the first series that Bill Sienkiewicz and Doug Mensch wrote. And I'm not sure if they created him. It was like really on early on. And he was a horribly disfigured. He, he wasn't, it was a horribly disfigured uh, villain that was in the sewers, kind of a thing. I mean, it he he wasn't he wasn't a super powered character, uh, but but it very, just an early early Moon Knight villain. And I think if memory serves, there's a great cover with Midnight Man. I want to say it's in a gallery where you see Midnight Man and Moon Knight squaring off, and there's like pictures behind him and i i, I want to say it's issue eight or nine or something keep in mind this is we're talking 40 years ago so what can i say but uh i just think it's cool that they have that character actually in the comics and there that's the one i'm talking about john third from the top on the left side that cover let me see if i can get this on screen for everybody yeah it's not like the mona lisa or something i can't even believe i remember that that's just that's nutty it's funny because their outfits are kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't. That's so sad. It it is so sad when you hear about that. What issue is that? Oh, I couldn't. I can't even see. Oh, I can't see. Not from this image. That's on this so one. weird. Because, dude, that's that has to be from nineteen eighty or eighty one. Ah, uh, that's the first appearance of the character. You I know, believe. Aaron, like as as a as a performer mm -hmm. yourself. I mean, whenever you hear about anybody passing away at anything, you obviously had a very uh, notable experience with that when your co-star, you're the star of Spartacus passed away, like in between seasons and, and things like that. What does this do to a, a creative crew and cast and stuff like that? When somebody you've worked alongside with, when somebody who you have done all this stuff with suddenly passes away, what type of an atmosphere does that create amongst the, the crew and the rest of the team? Well, it's just debilitating. I mean, uh, you know, so yes, when Andy Whitfield um, passed away from cancer, and it, it, it's actually bringing up a lot of these, a lot of similarities because, um, you know, this young man was 37, Andy was only 38. Um, this young man uh, is clearly a star in France. He had won what is the equivalent of the French, it, it, it's the equivalent of the Oscars in yeah. France. He had won it for um, Most Promising Newcomer. He was nominated three times he's had a, a just an incredible career he's been acting since he was 12 years old he also has a really um remarkable modeling career he's a face of longchamp um and he's you know yeah very promising career similar to andy whitfield who was um a Welsh actor living in Australia and had just done Spartacus, which was going to launch his career uh, in America and really just change the trajectory of his life. And it seems like this young man similarly had done, um, a, had really reached some, some, a, a great level of success in France. And now 
you know, doing Moon Knight, which was going to just raise his profile on the international stage and for American audiences as well, um, for him to be, um, for him to to pass so tragically and suddenly, uh, it's it's really, it's just a tragedy, and certainly puts a at the very least, a damper on the energy of promoting the show. Because now, yeah. you know, I mean, anytime that you're, you're not going to, if you're promoting Moon Knight, you're not going to be able to do that without obviously talking about this, you know? And um, and, and so it just puts a different color onto, onto things. And we don't want to say, oh, well, you know, we don't want to uh, put a, you know, a damper on promoting a television show over something. But it... it I don't mean to trivialize someone's death by saying that, but it does go hand in hand. You know, it's sort of like what was the um, the vampire movie that Aaliyah starred in with Stuart Queen Townsend? Queen of the Damned. Queen of the Damned. You know, and then of course there was a lot of uh, question about should the movie even come out? And you know, we've seen that happen with Chadwick Boseman and his passing. What happens with um, the character? You know, do we recast? And right before we started the show today, I asked Rob. You know, is this character of Midnight Man, is this a character that could be recast? Is, or we don't even know if this is a character that by the end of the season survives, survives, yeah. you know, as a character. So it's just a, a, an overall tragedy. And certainly for people who knew him and, you know, to, to the fans in France, anyone in, Fr in France who may be watching, we are so sorry for, for the loss of such a clearly beloved young actor who had such incredible promise. Question is for you guys. Um, how are you feeling about this, about uh, the past? Like, were you familiar with this work? Maybe his was a brand new name to you like he was for me. It's going to add an extra little layer of emotion, I'm sure, when Moon Knight eventually does come out. Whatever you guys are feeling about it, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.